Greetings and welcome back to the gallery. I'm the curator and host, Robert Cooper. Now on today's episode, I wanna talk about the 42nd annual photo regional that was held at the Albany Center Gallery in beautiful downtown Albany. Now, for those who may not know what a photo regional is, it's when a local gallery puts out an open call for photographers in the area and invites them to display their photography at their gallery. Now, depending on the gallery, they may have a limit as to how many photos a photographer can display in the show. For this particular show, photographers were allowed between one and three photos. There was no limitation as to what can be displayed as long as the images were photography based. Oftentimes, these photo regionals have a judge or judges that decide which photo gets the top prize or the second place or third place. And there's even ones that are chosen as honorable mentions. Now, myself personally, I had three images on display at this show. The first image I put in the show was of my friend, Tarishi Midnight Schuler, And we took this photo before COVID happened. We didn't know anything about the fact that we were gonna be wearing masks the next year. So we just took these photos at um, Wall Street in New York City. And then we went to a subway station and uh, he had a gas mask on. And we did a whole series on that. And I chose one photo out of that series. Now my friend Tarishi, he is a poet who goes by the name Midnight. I'm gonna leave his information at the end of this video so you can check out his poetry. The second photo I displayed was of my empress, Dee Collin, who herself is a poet. And this was taken during the pandemic. It was a mask that she created. And I have her wearing the mask, which is from African fabric. And she has her big, beautiful Afro in display. I'm also gonna leave her information at the end of this video so you can check out her poetry as well. The third photo I displayed was of my friend, Lynette Johnson, and surprise, she's a poet as well. So this was like the last photo shoot I did before lockdown. And she's got a classic African inspired hat that we used to wear back in the late 80s. She's got uh, gold pants and some gold sneakers. And it was just a tribute to that golden era of hip hop, which I put at between 1986 and 1994. Now this photo I put in at the last minute. The first two photos were obviously inspired by COVID-19 and you know, they are displaying masks, which we have unfortunately become accustomed to wearing. So I needed something else to go in there and I couldn't figure out anything. So I just said, well, since everything is COVID themed, why not put the last photo shoot I did before the lockdown? And that's how this photo was entered into this exhibit. And lo and behold, it was chosen as an honorable mention. Now I can go on and on about this particular exhibit, but enough from me, I'll just let the executive director of the Albany Center Gallery, Tony Iadesico, tell you more about the photo regional. My name is Tony Arisico, Executive Director of Albany Center Gallery. Regional uh, is for Albany Center Gallery when we do it. It's hosted every three years. Uh, so we do it as a rotating uh, salon juried exhibit. Uh, it started 42 years ago by the founder of Albany Center Gallery. And it was really a, a place and a, a space for uh, highlighting photography. Because uh, back in the late 70s, uh, photography was still on the edge of being considered like real art. Uh, so this was a great opportunity for photographers to be highlighted and to see their work in depth. So the criteria for being in the photo regional, uh, again, while it takes place at Albany Center Gallery, is uh, you have to live within 125 mile radius of the city of Albany. And we want people to submit their best work. Uh, so with our space limitation, we uh, have three pieces uh, as far as a max submission uh, with a size range of 36 inches by 36 inches. 
Uh, but other than that, there aren't any other limitations or restrictions for the work that's needed. Uh, so it goes from, you know, high school students, college students uh, to international artists that live, you know, right in our backyard. Uh, it really is a wide range of artists that submits, um, but there isn't uh, a degree or certificate that you need to be in the show. You could shoot something with an iPhone, you could shoot it with a Kodak, you could shoot it with, you know, digital camera, you can use film. Uh, really, there is no limitation, especially now with how technology is. Uh, it really is kind of expanding what photography is and what it could be. Yeah, so the prizes for the photo regional. Uh, so this year we had over 80 photographers submit over 200 pieces uh, altogether. Uh, our juror, Karen Davis, uh, based out of Hudson, uh, came up to review all of the work in person. Uh, she then narrowed it down to, I believe, 46 uh, pieces. And uh, really it was highlighting the photographers that Karen you know, thought was speaking um, to what she appreciated. Uh, so again, any juror could have selected 40 different other pieces. Um, and the prizes that she gave out were honorable mention and juror select. Uh, so out of those 40 something pieces, 11 of them were actually highlighted as uh, a level that she thought was kind of a little bit above uh, the other works. But I think just being in the photo regional select is in itself part of an award. Uh, and then for the top four prize winners, uh, they're actually receiving $200 each uh, for their work. Uh, and again, this is just on top of being in the select show itself. Yeah, so each year uh, when we host the, the, the regional select, uh, we, we invite different jurors to come through. Uh, and really it's just to get a different perspective and different point of view from uh, either a photographer that is you know, doing big things in the community and throughout the country or the world. Uh, or spaces, for example, Karen owns a gallery in Hudson. So the goal was to bring our audience uh, to Karen's attention and she'll actually be working and selecting some artists and photographers that are in the show to be represented down in Hudson uh, in her gallery space, but also online. Uh, so really we just always try to rotate it and, and create a space where uh, each juror can bring something different to the photography community in Albany. Yeah, so we um, we were supposed to host this show in June and July. It was actually supposed to be a two month long exhibit. Uh, and then with uh, COVID, we had to put that on delay to seeing the, the, sh the challenges and the struggles just of, you know, a photographer taking the photo, getting it printed, then also getting it matted, then getting it framed. Uh, so those kind of logistics were challenging, especially in March, April, May, when a lot of the local printers were closed, a lot of frame shops were closed. Uh, so we definitely had to reimagine what the show could be. So then we ended up postponing it until uh, right now, which is September. I think we're in September, uh, August, September. Um, and, and really it's, it's a shorter show, but it still creates the immediacy of people coming to see the work. Uh, and we knew that it was something that, at least for photographers and the artistic community, it was still a, a good platform for them to be on display and, and still have the opportunity to sell work. Uh, and especially now when, you know, jobs are maybe limited or commissions and gigs are getting pulled back, uh, this was a good platform for, uh, for people to sell. Um, and we've done that, which is great. The show will be up until October 2nd, uh, and it will also live online on our 360 tour. Uh, so on the gallery's website, uh, Albany Center Gallery 360, uh, you can actually see the salon show and then also the select show. Uh, and that'll be, you know, online 24 seven really. So you can access it from a phone, a computer, uh, or any place that you can get the internet. AlbanyCenterGallery.org 360. Now, before I end this video, I just want to say that when I started photography about 13 years ago, I had no idea that, you know, my photos could be exhibited in any kind of art gallery I didn't even think photography was an art form at that time. I was just taking pictures. But as I grew as a photographer and I started enjoying the feedback that I was getting and 
I started going to art galleries and I would see photography in these galleries and you know I was like well I think some of my photos also could be in an art gallery. It changed the way that I saw my photography and also positively affected my photographic eye. I started trying to find galleries that had open calls and I would put my photos in those galleries. A few years ago, I put on a show with my empress that displayed my photography and her visual artwork. I'm saying all of this because it is important for people of color and people from other marginalized groups to approach art galleries and make sure that you are being represented. Put your artwork and your photography in these galleries. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. You have every right to have your photos and your artwork on display at these galleries. So if you are interested in having your photography in these art exhibits and these art galleries, do a search in Google and just look up all the art galleries in your area and see who's having open calls for photography. Having your photography in art galleries and in art exhibits enhances your art and your photography more so than having it on Instagram or any of these other social networking sites and you just having likes upon likes upon likes. Actually being out there and seeing your artwork in physical form printed out and hanging on the wall does a lot for your confidence and for your artistic creativity. I give thanks to each and every last one of you who have been following the gallery since its inception. I also give thanks to you if you are just tuning in and this is the first time you've seen the gallery. Please make sure you go back and watch the other episodes. Make sure that you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at rcooperphotography. And don't forget to visit my website, robertcoopermedia.com. And definitely follow my extremely gifted and talented poetry friends, Midnight, Lynette Johnson, and my very own Empress, D. Collin, on their social media sites. Blessed love.